got a, I got a question for you, Tank. At, at 147, how does uh, a fight with you and Terrence Crawford look? 147? Well, if I tap that chin, you know he's going to sleep. I already know. I already, I already you know, know he is. He ain't got no chance. I already know he is. <laughs> Said no chance. <laughs> I, hey, I got round five. Yeah, I got round six. I, I, we, we'll go with that. I'm going to put my money in round six. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KB with Just Do Boxing back with another video. And man, today makes one year old that I've had this channel, man. So I just want to say big salute, big shout out to everybody that's been supporting the channel and, and supporting the TWT family. We only getting started and we're going to keep it going, man. So let's get into it, man. Which I just heard was Javante Tank Davis being interviewed. And, you know, he was asked a very interesting question about Terrence Bud Crawford and you know if he think he can knock him out and what round do he think he can knock him out in and you know you know Tank you know usually a quiet guy he's been more vocal especially as of late you know he went on to say you know if he touched that chin you know if I touch that chin he going to sleep man you say he, you know Tank said you know he ain't got no chin and, you know he got to laugh out of the guys interviewing him and uh I think that was Tank's honest opinion on you know if he's able to catch Terrence Crawford, he thinks he can do damage. Now, I'm going to just get my quick thoughts on it. You know, um, the question is, you know, one question was, you know, is Gam was Gamboa Terrence Crawford's toughest test to date? And if I if I do recall, I think he was on record saying Gamboa was his toughest fight to date. And one of the reasons why I felt like that was his toughest fight to date is for the obvious reasons that we all know. That fight that he was, you know, the most visibly hurt in. I don't think you could point to another fight in Terrence Crawford's career where his leg stiffened up the way it did against Gamboa when Gamboa landed a clean shot flush on the chin. And, you know, a lot of people would say, ah, Tank, you know, he Tank's crazy. You know, uh, 147 would be too much for him. You know, Terrence Crawford would destroy Tank at 47. And I, I understand them thoughts completely. But again, pay attention to the question. The question is... You know, do we think he can knock Crawford out? And he said if he catches him, he feels like he can put him to sleep. Now, can he knock him out and will he knock him out? It's two different things. You get what I'm saying? Can he knock him out? If he catch Terrence Crawford flush on the chin, absolutely, I think he can knock him out. You know what I mean? I don't care what weight it's at. You get what I'm saying? Even if it's at 147. Now, I'm not saying that he going to just go up to 147 and knock, you know, Crawford out in six rounds, how the guys were joking about in the video. But what I am saying is, can he knock somebody out and will he knock somebody out two different things tank has the power definitely to knock out a 147 pounder if we know for a fact that he's parked heavyweights in the gym and put heavyweights on their back pockets and if a, a hundred a guy in gamboa that came from 126 pounds is able to hurt terrence crawford at 35 then make no mistake about it you know tank punch is a lot harder than gamboa in my honest opinion he definitely would be able to hurt terrence crawford now the question is will he knock him out can he knock him out if he catch him absolutely but will he knock him out that's a whole nother discussion now just to be fair to terrence crawford he's a hell of a fighter there ain't nobody just going up to 147 and just dogging terrence crawford in my honest opinion not from no smaller weight classes anyway but you know it still would be a competitive fight it would be an uphill battle for tank for sure because that you know i feel like 147 would be a lot for him you know physically that'd be very physically demanding a tank who's a very small guy and five five and a half you know five foot five and a half so we're about a 68 67 inch reach so you know the weight might be an issue i could see that playing out i could see that being a factor but again y'all let's just be realistic with the kind of punching power that tank was gifted with if he cracks anybody on the chin the right way, he can knock him out. And that's in my honest opinion. Anybody that's in a reasonable weight distance. And I think 147, the weight would be a lot for Tank Davis to overcome. But make no mistake about it. If he cracks you and he cracks you clean and gets you the right way, he can get you out of there. But will he knock out Terrence Crawford in six rounds if they was the fight at 147? That's a whole nother discussion. That would be a very tough fight for Tank. But the whole thing is, you know, Terrence Crawford will have to be on his P's and Q's and he will have to, you know, make sure his defense is at the best. You at his best because, uh, like I said, man, Tank has the kind of power that you're gifted with. You get what I'm saying? And if he cracks anybody, he can get you out of there. He can hurt you and get you out of there. That's my thoughts on it, man. Y'all get in the comment section. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think Tank is crazy for saying if he touched 
you know, Terrence Crawford's chain here, knock him out. And do y'all agree with Tank? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all feel like Terrence Crawford don't got a chin? Do you feel like his chin is suspect? And as always, man, get in that comment section. Let me know if I gave Javante Tank Davis and Terrence Bud Crawford their just do. Because that's what I do over here at Just Do Boxing. Until the next one, I'm out. Peace.